It's video time. That's what time it is, right? I'm going to show you how to paint at the top of a wall using a cutting brush. We want to make that line nice and straight and tight up next to the ceiling. And I'm going to show you a few different things that might come in handy. We're going to try some different things and we're going to make a decision what's the best thing to do. Now, I've got a really super nice cut-in brush that I keep in this little container here. It's, it's cut at an angle, and this is probably the best thing to use, but we're going to try a few other things too. I've got just a crummy, big paintbrush, and uh, I also have a cheap old paintbrush, just a cheap one, less than two bucks for this brush. How are we going to paint a straight line with this? Well, we're going to try using this. This is just a little straight edge we can hold up there and go along and see if we can't use these paint brushes to make it a little bit quicker or if we don't have a cut in brush like this, we're going to try this method here. And you're going to help me decide whether or not you can use something like this, okay? And I also have a nice little container here that I'm going to put the paint in so I don't have to get up and down off the ladder every time I need to dip my paint into a little bucket. This holds nice and easy on my hand. You just hold it like that. You don't, have, you don't hold it like this. You just put it in like that and dip and go. I've got a little uh, paint can opener. It's always nice to carry one of these around with you. This works way better than a screwdriver. So try this. And I may end up using a rag. Hopefully I don't need that, but in case I need it for any spills, I've got that. Plus my trusty back brace. I'm going to use that to keep my back nice and tight and so I don't hurt it over stretch or do anything like that. So stick around. Hopefully I can teach you a few things or at least show you some things.